So let's make a tour around my dachi. Now we are at the entrance. Sheffield, you are going to be the guide? If no, just keep quiet. So we are going to make the circle. We start from this place and we shall come here. Door. Yeah? Right. Let's go, Sheffield. So here we have a few apple trees. As you may see, we have painted them in white, in white color. They are in blossom. The birds are singing. You may see that all trees are in blossom. These apple trees are very old. My granny and my grandpa planted them maybe 60 years ago. So these are very old apple trees. Here we have the cherry tree, also in blossom. That is the window we made on the May holidays. My husband has only several hours and not every day, even not every weekend. That is why our construction is very slow. But I think he does everything perfectly. This is the metal. So, as a wood I painted. <laughs> I think it looks rather good. That is another apple tree. Also very young. This apple tree we planted two or three years ago. And we had one apple on that tree. That is my small plantation. <laughs> I grow everything here. Here I have lettuce, dill, parsley, onion, so the strawberry and some onion. that how the house looks from this corner. I think not bad. My husband is not the professional constructor. He watch all the videos about the construction in YouTube. He collects information on different websites and that is the result of his construction. I told you originally the house was here then we removed it to that place that is why it is very narrow. If uh, we had constructed this house on that place, we would make another one, of course. But we have what we have. Over there I have a few bushes of raspberry. And here are the flowers. That is the protection from Sheffield. But you may see he walks in the special way. Gooseberry bush. That is also onion.
I bought him so many toys, paid a lot of money for them, but he plays with that old ball. To be honest, he found this ball somewhere, brought it to the dacha and plays constantly with this toy. That is his favorite toy. We wanted to go home, <laughs> but he swam in that pond and now he is wet. That is why we are waiting when he will be dry and I am constantly sneezing. <sighs> Apple trees, the smell is magnificent, wonderful. I love the flowers and I love the early spring when everything is in blossom in spite of my allergy. <laughs> the trees are very nice, so beautiful. The blue sky, the white flowers. So wonderful to be in the open air in spring. This year we are going to make this place more presentable. Uh, we are going to remove all the old wood, the old house that is behind me. We have huge plans, <laughs> but the constructor has left me. He went on business. So now I am alone here with Sheffield. And our son <laughs> does not like to come here. He prefers to go to some cafes, <laughs> to walk with friends in the city somewhere. He does not like Dutch. Sheffield, Sheffield, what's wrong? Tell me please, is it better to stay at home? If we leave Dutch, we shall go home. And you are going to sleep all the day. And I'm going to clean the flat. <laughs> Don't like this. Just enjoy the sun. That is specially for rainwater. The special system, <laughs> a Russian system to collect water. At first we wanted to make some shade here, but then we decided to remove this house, this old house, and to put another section here. So then we are going to have a rather big house consisting of two rooms. Because you know the height is rather big, more than two meters. So that is why we can add a small house here. So to make them very close to each other. I have already told you that according to Russian laws we can't build a house closer than 15 meters to another wooden house. So first of all we wanted to, to build our house here, but uh, that house is very close to the corner of our future house. There are no 15 meters here. That is why we can't uh, build the house here. And I decided to build the gazebo. I call this gazebo, I don't know. Write in comments if it is the right name for that construction, for that house. So I want to build that gazebo on the place where Sheffield now. Over there. And we shall close that line. So we are, go we are not going to make the fence over there. We are going to construct the gazebo, a very long gazebo, maybe six or maybe eight meters. Uh, 
and that gazebo will close the view. <laughs> they will close the view from our neighbors. And in that corner they are going to build the barn. In fact, this one was the barn. But our neighbor said that this is not the barn. It is a house. <laughs> Can you imagine the house three meter by five meter? The house. <laughs> we decided not to quarrel with her. So we just removed the house and over there we are now going to build a small barn for Dutch equipment. And I think it is a rather good decision. Over there will be the barn, then we have the apple tree and then we are going to put the gazebo. So, and here is the end of our territory. So all that two buildings will close, completely close the view from that nasty <laughs> neighbor. In fact, we have good neighbors here, all the neighbors. Uh, but you know, if you want so, but you know, all of them are good unless you begin to uh, make anything near the border. And uh, then they come and tell you that we do not want this near our border. It is very close to our border. Please remove this. We do not have Dutch walls here. Some people have. We do not. We do not quarrel with anyone. I prefer not to quarrel because I come here to have some rest from the city life, from urban life. So I think it is not good uh, to come here and to quarrel. So that is why I do not quarrel with anyone. But I could. I could go to the court, I could go to the maintenance organization, so, but I do not do this because I don't want uh, to be nervous. I don't want to feel nervous here because I come here to enjoy, to enjoy the fresh air, to enjoy my flowers. <laughs> this year I decided to improve my uh, skills, my skills in agriculture. <laughs> so we shall see at the end of summer what results I have. Ну, давай еще раз. Шеффилд, once again. Once again. <laughs> he found the occupation for him to run around the old house. <laughs>